G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. Just wanted to create a video today to look at some new features within Adobe Bridge. So this is a very recent update. Uh, and one of the new features which is particularly interesting is your ability to directly export from Adobe Bridge. Two scenarios that I'm thinking initially where this may be really helpful is if you want to do a um, bulk conversion to DNG, uh, if you're working with raw files just to have a little bit more future proofing for your file format or if you've uh, been requested to deliver in DNG, or if you've done edits to images and you would like to do a bulk uh, export to JPEG or TIFF uh, from your RAW or DNG files. So particularly interesting because traditionally uh, the process that I would use beforehand would be to open the images within uh, Adobe Camera RAW and then save them out um, into whatever file format and whatever size I would like like um, from there uh, to a specific folder whereas now uh, as I mentioned you can do this specifically from within uh, Adobe Bridge which is a little bit of a time saver and possibly a little bit more of an efficient process as well uh, given that you've got uh, only one piece of uh, or one application open rather than two so let's go ahead and have a look all right, so you can see I'm just on uh, the uh, the main page for Adobe Bridge at the moment. And if you have a look down, uh, you can see that there's now an export tab. If we pop up to window and um, make sure that that export panel is ticked, if you can't see the export panel, then uh, that may be why. So just pop that tick in there and you should be good to go. All right, so there's three options. So there's custom export, there's export to DNG, and the option to create a new pre preset. I'm actually going to start from the bottom and just click on creating a new preset and this is the dialog box that you'll actually see with the other two as well and what this does is just allows you to um, create a preset um, based on um, uh, a, a common sort of outcome that you're looking for. So if you often say, for example, a whole bunch of images to a JPEG with a longer stage of a thousand pixels and you want image quality of 12, then this is where you would do it. So um, it just allows you to, uh, yeah, basically uh, enter in all of those settings and you can bulk export those images directly out of Bridge, which is really great. So if we have a look at the top here, saving options, we've got export to original file location and then you can have save to a subfolder specifically named, which is great because you could create your high res and low res uh, folders uh, and structure directly out of Bridge. Um, uh, image format so you can select whichever format you would like JPEG, PNG, TIFF and DNG uh, image quality uh, obviously you can set there as well um, image size you can uh, you've got some options there so you can actually constrain to fit uh, long and short side now so you can actually select a short uh, edge dimension as opposed to just using a long edge dimension so say for example if you want the shortest edge of your image to be a thousand pixels rather than the longest edge then you can uh, specify that in that section uh, so long edge uh, resample method so um, generally speaking uh, Obviously, as it says here, for reduction, it's uh, best to use bicubic sharpener, um, best for reducing the file size. Uh, just down below that, metadata, include original metadata. Generally, it defaults to all, um, which is always a good idea because obviously Bridge is uh, where you would be entering that metadata into. Or you can apply a metadata template, again, speeding up the process. So clicking on that one, you can then select the various metadata templates that you have already set up. Um, and uh, yeah, away you go. It's a great, great feature to also be able to um, apply metadata templates at the same time as well. Again, uh, for people that are producing a lot of images, any time saving is a good thing and that will certainly help uh, your time saving process. Thinking that it's potentially really good for news photographers and press and photojournalists as well where they're often working with very, very tight deadlines. All right, that's the custom setup if you want to create your own preset. If we look at export to DNG, if I double click on that one, you can see this is just a preset that's by default made by uh, Adobe and uh, all the same options are there. Um, 
and uh, yeah, you can uh, obviously enter whatever changes you want there. This one's really just for converting um, any file type. Obviously, more than likely, it's going to be uh, a raw file. Uh, but when you're wanting to convert a file type to DNG or digital negative, so that's a great preset to be able to use. Um, and you can see that it's actually saving uh, the files in the original location with a subfolder named DNG. So it's not going to get uh, um, interesting if you're suddenly dealing with all of your DNGs mixed in with all of your raw files. It will separate them into a different folder, which is great. And the custom export, uh, actually we'll just cancel that. And the custom export means that you, um, when you click and drag images into the custom export, which is the demonstration I'm going to do today, uh, it will pop up with the options that you want to select. So let's go, I've got four images here um, selected and they've all had edits done to them. So let's just go to, oops, let's reselect those. Let's drag them into custom export. And you can see the dialog box pops up. Um, original file location, I want to actually save it to a specific folder. Let's browse. Let's create a folder called Bridge Export, just for demonstration purposes. Bridge Export, there we go. Select folder. Now we know that it's going to that, uh, to that uh, Bridge Export. I'm actually going to create a subfolder named Full, oops, Full, resolution there we go it's going to be a JPEG I'm going to go for full image quality um, I'm simply just converting the images from a raw file um, raw file uh, as well as a DNG um, actually I think they're all raw files and to a JPEG so the image is going to I'm not going to scale the image it's going to be hundred percent I'm not going to change the dimension of the image at all and it includes the original metadata which is exactly what I want so let's start export you can see that there's a little uh, status bar there telling you exactly where everything is going, what's happening. Uh, seems to be a similar speed for this particular system as if I was doing it through Adobe Camera Raw. Close. Yep, that's great. That's all done. And you can see here we've got bridge export and full resolution folder. And there's all of our images at full resolution with the edits applied and saved out to a JPEG and we have all of the metadata in place as well which is exactly what we wanted it to do. So that's a great new feature of Adobe Bridge. I think um, that's something that I will definitely make use of and being able to export and convert um, uh, file formats and images into usable files is really good for people who uh, shoot a lot of images as I said uh, which is exactly what I do and um, it just will I think uh, help speed up the process and workflow of getting images through your system and ready for clients, ready for publishing, ready for sending out. So I think that will definitely help uh, many people's workflow and a great feature and addition to the new version of Adobe Bridge. Hope you found this video to be helpful. Um, as always, any questions are welcome. Please pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks again for stopping by and look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care.